Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vloggy thing. As you can see, I'm fiddling around with a few things and playing with things. I have a green screen now. It's a full studio, got it for 200 bucks on Amazon, came with the green screen that's like 10 foot by like 18 foot or some such nonsense like that. Um, the stands and the crossbar to hold it together. I have, and it came with uh, three lamps, and these are like crazy powerful lamps. I'm actually sweating here because combined, the lamps are probably about 300 or 400 watts of power, and they're CFL bulbs, so it's a hell of a lot brighter than just you know 400 watts of incandescent. I think I think one of the boxes said that uh, one of my lights is. Uh, would it say like 550 watt equivalent for incandescent or some such nonsense like that basically it's crazy powerful um and uh you know i have the fans turned off because well i'm recording and that pc is loud enough as it stands um the doors are shut the windows are shut to keep the noise out and I had it. I have a plasma screen TV over there that I was watching TV on while I was setting all this up, um, and that fucker gets hot, <laughs> like hot enough that I'm thinking I really need to just replace it. It's old. It's busted. I got it used and busted. Um, so yeah, definitely fun stuff that's been going on recently, because well, green screen as you can see. But it's definitely an interesting thing that I have to fiddle with, because if, if, if you can tell, you probably can tell, I sure as hell can tell, around my hair, you can see that it's all like, I don't know, wavy and such, and like my glasses, this part of my glasses disappears. That's because I don't have it set up quite like I'm supposed to, apparently, and I'm working on it, I'm learning all of this stuff. The first goal is to get the green screen background as evenly lit as possible. And if for a moment I turn off the chroma key, you can see that that's impossible in this setup. Um, I was reading suggestions for how to do this and that basically they suggest that if you're gonna have a permanent installation, paint the walls. It's just easier, just paint the damn walls. Get them all one solid color, nice and even, proper chroma green color, and yeah, and then you gotta have proper lighting, like I said, you gotta have uh, as evenly lit as possible, because you want the entire background to be a single color, just one color. Because chroma key, as the fun is, Enable my chroma key here for a second, and I'll turn down the similarity. Basically, the similarity is the range around the color you select. So in OBS, I can select one chroma key color, and it will set one specific color. And then I can set the similarity of that color, which will push out on either side of that color in the color range to you know what it covers. And right now it's set to 300. The default is zero. <laughs> so that's how much of that screen. Um, yeah, this is how much of the screen. Oh, God. Everything's reversed in my view. I'm looking at the monitor here, the preview monitor. Everything's reversed. It's all around my hand. It's like I have an aura or something. It's really weird. Uh, but that's the default. And you have to crank it up. And if you crank it up, very carefully, you can start seeing things fade away. And as you can tell, over here, I have it pretty close to right. Over here, obviously, I don't have the lighting right. The uh, lamp that's over here is too close, so this right here is lit up brighter than it should be. And I have to turn up the similarity to, let's see, till it all stops flashing. Come on, stop flashing. Somewhere around there, I guess that's good. Looks about right. That is 263, where the fault is zero. And you wanna keep it as close to zero as physically possible, and obviously I don't have it right. But I figure this will work great for amateur stuff. 
let's set you back to 300. Boop, because that's what I've had it set at. But you can see that around my hair, it's all kind of wibbly. And if I turn sideways and get close to the screen, you can see it's really wibbly, like around the front. And that was one of the tips that I was reading about online, is that loose hair, like mine, can cause serious problems for green screens. So I'm sitting there trying to figure out, okay, so if loose hair like mine is causing green screens, you don't see everybody on the, on the movies with slick back hair or hats on, so how do they do it? Well, they do it because they use backlighting. So there's the uh, background lighting that I have set up here. Then there's uh, the fill light that I have set up over here. And then what professionals have is actually backlighting. So it's actually like coming from behind the character and up so that it lights up the hair as a different color than the green screen. So what's the problem is right now is that the green screen is filtering through my hair. So they got to use a backlight and chances or and one of the suggestions was to use a magenta filter in the backlight to counteract the green that would be in somebody's hair. I don't know how well it works. I don't have a magenta backlight and I don't really have enough space. One of the other suggestions was that you be 10 feet in front of the green screen. I am probably four feet because I just don't have that much space. 10 feet in front of the green screen, I would be, like my face would be in the wall because the wall is right behind the camera here. <laughs> it's definitely interesting. And I get this thing. I get, it's, this whole studio thing comes with three lights, with all the bulbs, um, the lamp stands, the stands for the green screen, the crossbar for the green screen, and of course the green screen. So I'm expecting it to couple, come in a couple of boxes. Well, the mail guy shows up yesterday. Yes, yesterday. That's when I got this. Um, and it's this older guy. Looks like Stan Lee. Shit, you not. Stan Lee delivers my mail. Um, and it's this giant, bloody box he's carrying down my sidewalk. And I'm like, what, what, what the hell? And... Uh, I see him coming down the sidewalk. I was waiting for it because I didn't know if I had to sign for it or what. I definitely didn't want it sitting on my uh, front stoop there. So I was, I hung, that, hung, hung here from work instead of going to work and waited for it. So I was waiting at the door when he got down here and he's like, careful, it's heavy. I pick it up, the fucker weighs like 60 pounds. That's a significant weight for this thing. It's all, it all comes in one box. It was this huge, huge bloody box. This ridiculous box that I can't actually show the size of in the camera because, you know, my field of view is way too damn tiny. Um, and I, of course I'm thinking, okay, you're deceptively small, little dude. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyway, so I, I sit the box down, I open it up, and inside this giant box, there's another box about half the size with no padding around it. So it's just this box inside of a bigger, emptier box. I'm like, okay, that's an interesting way to ship a box, especially since it's a brown box inside of a brown box. You could have just slapped the sticker to the inside brown box and shipped it that way. I don't know. Maybe they were fucking with USPS. I don't know. Because I think you, yeah, USPS ch or charges based on weight, not on size, I think. Not sure. And did that? Yes, that's just flickering. My background here is flickering. I don't know why. Uh, I'm sure Minecraft is fairly pissed off because I actually have the resolution set higher than the resolution of my monitor, and it doesn't like it. I have a 1080p monitor set up here. I need to bring out my 4K monitor and set it up here so I can actually do proper green screen recording and such. Oh, shit. I just realized the, 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 the here on my shirt. Yeah, just barely right here is close enough color that it's catching on the green screen, the chroma key. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. Uh, where was I? So yeah, so I, I, I pull out that box, I open up that box, and it's a bag. It's this giant duffel bag with all the stuff in it. 
So it's all nice and portable and easy to carry, uh, except for the overwhelming fact that the second you build the soft boxes, you ain't taking them back apart. <laughs> I sat there for a good half an hour struggling with the soft boxes just to get them together. I'm not taking them back apart. There's no way in hell. So if I ever move the studio, which I might, considering I really don't have the space. I mean, the, the, the green screen goes from my ceiling down to the floor, across the entire way to the wall, and then folds back upon itself three feet. <laughs> so I have all of this green screen for a studio that I don't have. And it's just in general interesting stuff. And I sat there yesterday for a good long while filling with the green screen, just getting it this far. But as you can see, I'm having problems with it. My hair here and my arms. But it's good enough for amateur. It's not professional, but it's good enough for amateur. And that's what I am. I am very much amateur, as I'm sure is quite blatantly obvious. So, well, that's what I've been doing. Now, I'm going to end the episode here, and I'm going to go back to coding. I took a break from coding just to do something else to let my brain... Ugh, i got to get practice back in uh, web design. Hmm. Anyways, so I'm going to end up the episode here. I'm going to say to you guys, as always, keep playing the game and have fun. And let's see how this edits up.